Hello, New Canaan High School. I'm Chloe DeMauro coming to you live from the NCTV studio. Today is Friday, December 12th, and the day H advisors in session, so everyone should be in their respective rooms. And I'm Jake Morris. We have plenty of announcements for you, but before we get to that, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, I have good news for you. Senior internship applications are still ongoing until January 5th, so it's not too late to sign up. If you're interested, talk to Ms. Carroll in the College and Career Center for more information. If you're not working on a senior internship, then maybe you're working on a math music video. The deadline is right around the corner, so reporter Justin Stemmerman caught up with my awesome math teacher, Mr. Bloss, to remind you of some of the requirements. So uh, the math music video contest, we've, this is the seventh year we've done it. Um, the video needs to be two minutes at most. Needs to be math related, any math subject you'd like. Um, they need to be submitted by Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. Uh, easiest way to do it is to submit either a DVD or a web link to myself or any other math teacher. We've had some great ones, Sokotoa, uh, MyTrig. There have been a lot of great ones over the years. So um, hopefully people step their game up and send us some good stuff. Good luck to everyone participating. If math isn't your thing like me, then maybe music is. Next Monday is the 15th is the annual holiday concert. Performances include the orchestra, choir, and the band. Students should report to their period six class first, and then after attendance will be taken, your teacher will take you to the auditorium. Now, the auditorium won't hold everyone, so the Wagner Room will have additional seating where the concert will be broadcasted by the best TV station in the FCAC, NCTV 78. After the assembly, students will then go to their period seven class. Look forward to amazing holiday music and songs. If you still haven't had enough of the holiday music, the choir is performing next Wednesday the 17th at 7 p.m. at St. Mark's Church in New Canaan. Attend for some wonderful holiday music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. <laughs> Jake, stop. You're not in choir. Sorry. Lots of announcements for choir. Another event by the choir is the annual grapefruit sale. If you've already placed your order, pickup times end today at 4 p.m., so be sure to stop by and pick up your box of holiday grapefruits. Well, many performances are happening next week. If you can't wait, this weekend is the premiere of the annual Walter Shock Holiday Spectacular. They perform right here at NCHS tonight and tomorrow. Tonight, the show starts at 7 and tomorrow at noon and 4. Tickets are $20 for adults and $10 for students. So if you're somehow still looking for a reason to go, I'll be at the 4 o'clock show tomorrow. With the holidays really picking up, Toys for Tots is looking for donations. The Student Coalition is holding a toy drive this week and next week in the main lobby. Please wrap a new present that costs anywhere from $7 to $10 and drop it off in the box. There isn't a better way to get into the spirit than helping kids receive gifts for the holidays. Have a lot of giving spirit? The Pura Vita Foundation is hosting their annual dodgeball tournament this Sunday from 4 to 6 in the NCHS gym. The event costs $20 per participant and teams will consist of six members, at least two of which have to be of the opposite gender. Gather up some friends and spend some quality time together for a great cause. And be thankful that I can't come because there might have been some injuries. Jake, speaking of sports, the state championship is this weekend, and I really hope the outcome of the game is the same as last year. Yes. But at the same time, I really don't hope the weather is the same. The weather was awful last year. Well, let's go to Tanasia Carfiello to see if the state championship this year will also include cold temperatures and snowy conditions. How is the weather looking, Tanasia? Well, guys, the snow will be staying away this year, and the sun will be rising up. Good morning, NCHS. I'm Tanasia Carfiello, here to hit you up with this weekend's weather. Despite the snow we had yesterday, the sun will be out, but it will still feel like winter weather. Today, there will be a high of 35 degrees and a low of 27. Tomorrow, the weather will be on the side of the Rams. No snow, no rain, just a nice pretty sun. There will be a high of 38 degrees and a low of 27. Sunday, the sun will be out, which is amazing, but it will still feel a little chilly with a high of 41 degrees and a low of 28. Well, that's it for me. Everyone, enjoy your weekend. Back to you guys. Thank you, Tanasia. Well, Jake, the weather is good. We still need to know if the Rams football team is ready for that championship. Right. Let's go to Matt Matia for the update on the Rams and some of the other winter sports. Thanks, guys. Good morning, NCHS. I'm Matthew Matia, and I've been away from this beautiful desk for way too long, but we're reunited, and it feels so good. Shout out to anyone who's old enough to get that reference. Welcome to the winter preview edition of the Rams Sports Report. Now, before we can officially put a bow on the fall sports season and throw it under the menorah, one team is still making a playoff push. After losing an absolute heartbreaker to Darien in the Turkey Bowl, the football team looked to bounce back and make a statement in the first round of the state tournament. Being the last home game of the year, NCTV was there as usual, this time in rain suits battling the conditions to bring you the action. So without further ado, let's run it! 
It was a wet one at Dunning as the seniors celebrate their last game on the field. Earlier in the first quarter, the Rams' offense would stall as Michael Krause isn't able to wrangle in the 40-yard toss from Collins, keeping it still 0-0. Later in the first, though, the Rams' offense would break through as Collins goes up top to Kyle Smith for the long bomb and the 7-0 lead. The Rams had another touchdown, making it now 14-0. In the last minute of the half, Collins would find Alex Law Police for the beautiful touchdown catch in the corner of the end zone. Let's take another look at that one. Wow. Now in the third quarter, Weathersfield get on the board as Eric Lamore breaks through the defense and scores the nice 50-yard touchdown to make it 21-7 Rams. The Eagles would add another here as Matt Sanzaro is able to find Kyle Clavins to make it 21-14 Rams now and a little extracurricular after the play. Later in the third, the Rams look to move out from their own end zone and what looks to be a simple four-yard gain is not as La Police breaks through the line and no one's going to catch him as he takes it 95 yards for the touchdown. La Police does his best Manziel celebration, and it's well-deserving as he sets a new school record for the longest touchdown in New Canaan football history. Ultimately, ultimately, the Rams will be too much for the Eagles to overcome as they take this one 27-14. Well, it all comes down to this. One game, one rematch, one champion. Tomorrow, the Rams travel up to West Haven to try to avenge the Turkey Day loss as they take on the Blue Wave in the state championship. Now, I'm no psychic, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night, and if you ask me, this season seems to be shaping up a lot like last year. With Dunning basically frozen over, it's safe to say that the winter sports season is here. Two teams looking to make their mark in the snow are the hockey teams. After making it to both the FCF and state semis last year, the ladies look to take it all the way this year. Captain Sarah Clearman, Emma Patch, Emma Rosenstein, and Mackenzie Lewis look to add three key freshman additions and build around two of the team's existing stars, Mia Carroll and Catherine Granito. For the guys, the sweet scent of revenge is in the air. After losing to Notre Dame West Haven last year in the state quarters, Captains J.P. McMahon, Patrick Comp, Peter Katz, and Ted Warwick look to build off last year's success. First step for them will certainly be naming a goalie, as Peter Windis and Liam Mooney, both sophomores, are currently battling for the spot. Be sure to circle your calendars for December 17th, because not only is it the second night of Hanukkah, but it's also the season opener for the squad, as they take on who else but ND West. Now, if you're more into escaping the cold rather than skating on it, then head into the gyms for the basketball teams. For the guys, a bounce-back season is in the making. After finishing 4-16 and 16 last year and losing three key seniors, Captains Claude Chandonet, Paula Gopian, and Karsten Berger look to fill the voids, along with key underclassmen Tyler Sweeney and Kyle Smith. Look for the boys to shock not only FCAC, but the whole world. The ladies are in a similar spot, as they look to improve upon a four-win season. Captains Elizabeth Miller, Megan Savaggi, and Amina Bracchio look to lead the charge, with junior Olivia Hunsinger looking to replace the production of last year's key contributor, Ali Riley. The ladies open their season on Wednesday, a loss to St. Joe's, but look to add their first win of the new campaign today when they take on Stanford. Well, that'll do it for me this week. I gotta go work on my jumper for Y ball. Till next time, NCHS, Hail NC. Thank you, Matt. Before we go, we would like to wish a happy birthday to Cameron Blair, Mia Carroll, Ryan O'Connell, and Gwyneth Falker, and a special shout out to Devin and Sean Appel, whose birthdays are both tomorrow. This has been Jake Morris for NCTV. And I'm Chloe Demaro. Make sure to tune in to Channel 78 to watch football versus Weathersfield. We leave you now with a video from the Student Climate Board leading you into your advisory activity. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. We would like to invite you to participate in a survey to tell us what you know about our school. You don't have to take the survey, but we hope that you will choose to do so. We want you to tell us the truth about what school is really like for you. Sometimes students give silly answers, but we want you to help our school by being honest and careful. You have received an email from Mr. Sullivan that has the link to the survey. We don't need your name on the survey, and only you will know the answers you give. If you have any questions, please raise your hand, and a member from our group or your advisor can help you. You will be using your own device to complete the survey. The goal of this survey is to break down social barriers and create a stimulating environment for students and teachers. Our team will be receiving the results of the survey. They will then be sent back to you guys to review in your advisory classes. Our team will take the results to drive our future projects to better our school. 